We just got back from another PRS match. Actually, this one was the PRS finale, the Vortex PRS finale for 2022. All done and dusted. It was awesome. It Full was. on, intense. Uh, listen to the podcast for more details on that. But Josh is back with taking photos, taking Polaroids. At, I am. At the match. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to roll straight into it. Seven Polaroids with a few extra bonuses. Yeah. Uh, and... Um, what, these are not going to last very long. Do you going to say anything about these boxes? Because they... <laughs> There's set decoration. Oh, right. There you go. Decorate, that's it. The one sentence, what did you do overall? This is me summarising the match in seven photos. Okay, all right. This is, this is my summary of the match. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We start with the tactical brace. The tactical brace. The tactical brace. Probably should mention ta Josh takes all the photos of the PRS matches in Australia. Should, yeah, should, yeah I'd clarify. let's move take on. Take photos with things. Yeah. Um, tactical that brace. The tactical brace. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. This has appeared in a couple of matches, I do believe. It has. Uh, You've got the um, Delta Delta thing on there. Yep. We've got our Scoped scope out. scope outs tucked in Good. there. Data cards. And all the data cards. MO I pens. reckon I picked up Aaron's data cards for him a number of times <laughs> because they just fell off. This is Aaron. Aaron busted his knee. Aaron works with us here uh, casually and, uh, and he busted his knee, but he still doesn't normally wear the brace, but when he competes, no, he, when he, he does. Competes. I, I still... assume it just helps over the weekend. You're doing a bit more strenuous tasks. Can imagine. Next one up. Yeah. Just the tip. Just the tip. This is Birchie from Low Vis Gear and Fat Jesus. It is. Uh, getting romantic and in-depth with their beards. It is. But only just the just, tip of the Just beard. the tip. This was yeah. after, um, I just, we were editing stuff and they came in to get food. Yep. And just snapped a nice normal photo of them and then I'd turn around to walk out the door and just turn around to shut the door and they were like touching tips and just snapped the photo. Because that's normal things you see in a cafeteria at a PRS match. It is. It is. It is. All right. Um, this one's very accurate and hopefully it will trigger some people. Just okay. moist. What did he say? Hey. Moist. Moist. So that it is, is. It is a rifle that is. A well, moist. Accuracy International. Rifle it is. I believe that is um, Jack's. ATX. That is Jack's AI. Looks looks like a black one in here, but by that going by that picture, it's yeah, a green one. Yeah. Bit, bit okay. darker on the polar, right? Cool. Moist. Yeah. It was. Uh, uh, th is this Friday? Is this practice? Uh, this was Saturday. Oh, Saturday, okay. This was both, Saturday. It had, it had just absolutely bucketed down. Gotcha. And so I took the opportunity and grabbed a camera and started <laughs> snapping everything because you rain is taking, phenomenal. You'd love I taking love photos rain. during the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Moist. I'm sure shooters do. Yeah, well, I mean, that really, that that's a big summary of the match, isn't it? Like, the, the, yeah. the weather was one of the biggest factors in that whole match where Saturday was just almost impossible to hit. It, it thanks was to great. wind, thanks to... Yeah, it was not good at all. Um, very challenging. And yeah. finales are always a bit of a harder written match. So you had a, a hard match with terrible, terrible conditions on yeah. Saturday. Some of the worst we've shot in, I think, from a... Yeah, point of view. I, I know there was a lot of even the top guys that were just the wind would come on and they said he was that switchy that you would make a accurate correction and the wind had already changed and you were off yeah. the left side completely rather than the right side. It was uh, very, very challenging. Which leans into my next photo, oh, which is um, very appropriately named, I think. Tough day in the office. <laughs> Ash, we have Ash who was, uh, went in in the lead to the finale, unfortunately for him did not come out in the lead no. in the finale but yeah that that look there it's the, the face and, kind of sums you, it you up you notice who's directly behind him yes yeah the guy who yeah, was the guy running who... fourth in the series and ended up yep. winning the series up taking it out despite not winning a match yeah interesting i know life. i checked the um, percentages earlier and went oh that's interesting very yeah. very consistent shooter always right at the pointy end all year but never quite got the chocolates yeah until but Took out the series. Took the series. Tough day in the office. Consistency paid off. You are very true, Josh, with your title. Ash, tough day in the office. Day the Excellent office. shooter, though. Next up, this does fit my theme from last time. I managed to snap Andy. <laughs> so it's the FU Andy this time <laughs> rather than the FU Plushy. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Andy had an interesting match. He did. Andy had his appendix out about a week and a half before the match. It's not, not what you want going no. into the finale. And day one, at the end of day one... Andy was first. He was. Sitting first. Now he finished this, the match This was third. the start of the day. This was the start of Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah. So Andy had talked to us, and there's, there's more details in the podcast from him himself, but he was just going to take it very, very slow. 
And given the conditions, that actually seemed to yeah. become many people's approach. You know, one particular shoe to tell me, oh, yeah, no, that's that's the way I'm doing it. But you know, like, oh, that's the way I've, I'm, you know, I'm yeah. taking it slow. And then you're like, yeah, but you're not always, are you? Because if you don't take it slow, you oh, I should have taken it slow. Whereas yeah. if Andy doesn't actually take it slow, um, he will be in a lot of pain. Yeah, he could be in pain or he could have to just go off to get some... Um some stuff done to fix his <laughs> exactly stitches right. and everything. So, yeah, Andy, well done. Didn't quite get it there, but you, you did it extremely didn't. well. Am I right in saying that was his first podium at a match, though? I was going to say, it's the highest he's finished any yeah. any Pierce match. We did extremely well. Now, Little River is a very tight range. It is Which is where range. this photo comes in, because in amidst all the clutter, so it's called PRS Chaos, in amongst all of the clutter and the this stuff going a bit, a bit dark on, it is a little dark see. in this lighting, Amongst all the chaos going on of tripod shooters, ROs, yep. there is a shooter actually shooting. Yeah. And it was very appropriate that down the left end of the range over the weekend, mm -hmm. especially the start of Saturday and I think Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, there was two squads down that end. So just there was a tripod was city, you get everyone there. And I remember actually having to duck under a tripod to get where I wanted to get a shot. It was that chaotic. You can actually duck under a tripod. I've got no chance. I'll go through it. <laughs> Very true. That would put us at six photos, it would. Josh. Now we need to pause because you've only got one left. But I do. I know that you always like to chuck just in a couple of little sort of runner-ups. There's a couple that cl get close. And this time I actually had 10 prints because I filled it up before I went. Oh, okay. 10 yeah. is how many it takes. It is. Okay. So this time I didn't label the three. The first one of my runner-ups yep. is Trent looking um, a little bit stressed. Over it. Or just, yeah, ready to go, when do we get to the pub? <laughs> yeah, Trent was the match director uh, for uh, for the weekend, for the finale, and uh, had had a terrible lead up to the uh, to the match in terms of just in, in life. Uh, and so this, this, I mean, this, this could have been taken at any point over the weekend yeah. and would have been accurate. Yes. But he did extremely well. I, uh, I tossed and turned. I actually got a feel of Trent just relaxed and smiling, especially Sunday afternoon, Matt yes, was wrapping up. I got yeah. him sitting in the back of a ute bed, but this, <laughs> this kind of summed up the weekend a bit more than the happy Fair smiley. Enough. Fair enough, all right. Our well, next I'll runner up, because yeah. I always like to have a nice photo that I'm happy with, is Crispy. Oh yes, George, George. from down, uh, down in Tassie. Just yep. doing his thing. That's I think a... he did well on this stage too. He did. So, he did well on Saturday. He actually did quite yeah. well on Saturday, and uh, and then and then things uh, went uh, fell apart a little bit for him for Sunday. He still yeah. still actually finished that. I think, with the exception of I think the last stage on Saturday, I didn't get photos of it, but I was videoing it, and he yeah. donated a stage, and then I think he sat behind the rifle for about 30, 40 seconds, just could not believe it. Mm, Which, there was a lot of donuts. That's, on that's the weekend. Particular weekend. Yeah, it's yeah. a great photo. It's a great yeah, photo, good depth. Quite there. happy to yeah. it. Okay. All right. Our yeah. last one. Last leads, runner up. Or last runner up. I mm -hmm. uh, just rather than taking a photo of someone, I snapped a photo into someone's phone. Yeah, okay. I believe that is Jane filming Anthony. Anthony who was, was the, was match the winner, winner of the match. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, this happens a lot. We talked about this, I think, in the last video, like we did. this, uh, about you know, a lot of filming of of shooters. Yeah, which and it's it's nice to be able to put that yeah. out, content out there on your personal page and stuff later. But it's mm. also a very good tool for being able to to break down how you shot and mm. review later. Absolutely. All right. So, leads to our la last photo yeah, of the weekend. The I, the I like one. to think it's appropriate. Under pressure. <laughs> oh, that's we, fantastic. Jonathan, before a stage, just yep. getting those deep breaths in, just ready mm -hmm. to approach it and try, try and take things calm. He didn't, he went really fast. Oh, did he? <laughs> yes, I believe on this stage he came along. Oh, good. But, yeah, Under very pressure. much summed up the theme of a lot yeah. of the shooters that just, just the that. pressure was high. <sighs> yep. Yeah, all right, deep breaths. Before we start, Ian, they're looking very official on the yep. uh, left hand side. Uh, Man, isn't doing his thing. Yep, that is a uh, an excellent photo. Yeah, well done. Concentration. Concentration. Yep. Concentration, please. All right, there we are. Seven photos from the finale. That's, yep. that's wrapped up the year, mate. A couple of extra. We can just. just, yeah. just <laughs> Well, these will go up on the wall or wherever they're going to go. And uh, yeah, we should probably like make a wall for the back of the wow. podcast. I was thinking that. Putting them up. So, yeah. Yeah. creative ideas happening live here. Yeah. Anyway. I did, I did have a thought, though, oh, for, this, for this series. Because mm. this has been the last two well, matches. the end of the series. End of the series. <laughs> but I have thought of trying to go through and do 10 of the year. The whole oh. entire year. Having 10 photos that summed up 2022. And that's eight matches? Eight matches. All right. All so right. essentially one photo from each match and then... Josh, you know Two what we can ones. do? 
that will be our one of our Christmas specials. Yes. Look forward to our end of year wrap up. Josh will be showing you the 10 best photos from the PRS matches this year. I'm looking forward to that now. I just want to wear a Christmas hat. That's and um, we will be dressed as Christmas related things. <laughs> Look forward to it. See you guys in that video. What are we committed to? Oh no. Oh. I missed again. Me too.